Hi, my loves. Hi, my loves. <laughs> it's that time of year. I got exasperated. It's that, because I'm so excited. It's that time of year, guys. It's that time. Of, it's that time of year. Last week, I sang this is Halloween. This week, I really fucking mean it. <laughs> hey, I'm even wearing my little Lego skeletons. <laughs> Yay. Um, I am fucking pumped. This is our, this is our Christmas. <laughs> At least for, you know, the little family that I've started here. So, like, Halloween is our favorite holiday. We're so pumped this week. Guess what, though? You guys are right. Leo got strep for the fourth time. I am losing my mind. Okay? So, I think if you're anything like me, you're exhausted. <laughs> okay? If you guys have, like, just thing after thing after thing, it just feels like it keeps kicking your ass. Um... Like, at this point, I just don't even know what to do anymore. So the doctor's like, I really don't think this is you guys' fault. <laughs> like, let's just get to the ENT. So we got to get, you know, poor kid, the, the appointment with the ENT. So hopefully everything's okay. He still has his tonsils. That might not be happening going forward. So I guess, I, I guess we'll see. So it's almost guaranteed I'm going to get it. So I was like, all right, let me get out the free weekly. I do got a sick kid. We're going to keep it short tonight, okay? Uh, I'm just going to pull one card. I'm going to talk very briefly about this new moon that's coming up this week, because uh, actually this week it's pretty fucking impactful. Um, if you guys have never been here before, my name is Sarah Martucci. I'm a psychic medium, certified crystal healer, paranormal investigator. I like talking about all things witchy, weird, Sasquatch, cryptid related. Mmm, make my nips hard. <laughs> Yay! This is the kind of convo that I want, that I prefer. I don't want to ask how the weather is. Do you believe in the Snallygaster, and would you have helped him during Prohibition? Those are the... <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> Yay! So all I'm saying is, uh, if you can talk cryptid, you'll keep my attention. Let's be friends, okay? Guys, come the fuck on in. Uh, again, this is where I pull three positive cards. You choose any and all that you're drawn towards, uh, and I, I talk on a subject I call astrofuckery. I like to focus on one or two things going on the week. That way it can help us kind of make this energy work for us, Okay. So let's get right into the astro fuckery, guys. We got a new moon and Scorpio coming up. Hot damn summer in the city. Right off a full moon that had some kind of weird connection, especially with the cards I was pulling last week. Uh, for you guys, if you got, especially if you got the death card last week. Whoa. Uh, I mean, but I mean, how perfect for Scorpio season, okay? So like that full moon we just had, uh, you know, in Aries, like that was really closing out a chapter from that eclipse all the way back in April. So there's a lot of weird closures last week. Um, I think that this new moon, and again, new moons are a time of rejuvenation, especially if you're exhausted, especially if you're at the end of your fucking rope, which I know a lot of us are. I'm what, can I raise my hand? I can't take any more sickness up in this house. I've been talking about this since July, y'all. I'm done. <laughs> what do I need to do? Is it a Lysol bomb? Do I just need to start drinking Lysol? Someone give me direction. And thank you guys for all your suggestions. You know, the past couple weeks of just trying to help us get better. We have taken all of that. We have tried all of it and we are still back with strep. So I guess just Jesus wants us to have this. <laughs> no, okay. Uh, you know, it's our cross to bear right now. Um, kid's doing great though. He's in good spirits. He's just kind of like, Ugh, again, you know, so I, I kind of got a feeling that a lot of people are feeling that way. So just make sure this week before this new moon comes up, or may there be a huge theme around rejuvenation and with it and being in Scorpio, maybe there's the rebirth that we've been looking for too. Okay. I think this full moon really isn't aspected by much. I, I think it's in a positive aspect of Saturn. So with this new moon, it's not just about rebirth, but it's about maybe also having like concrete, solid structures, foundations in order to start a new beginning or have this new beginning. Uh, knowing where Scorpio is in your chart, is going to give you a better idea around where this new beginning is going to start or begin or just fucking kick your ass. <laughs> hey, Scorpio doesn't take any names, man. She's just, she fucking kicks ass and is like, you deserved it. Maybe not from this lifetime, but I promise you in one of the previous ones. I don't know what it is. <laughs> hey, why do I love Scorpio so much? I also get down with that get down. So, you know, being a, being a psychic medium. I just feel like this week with this new moon coming up, um, this is, this is going to be a stanky Yankee one. Okay. Again, we just keep having crazy lunations over and over and over again. Guys, we just got through a cliff season. So it's just kind of, I think, asking us as, again, as the dust is settling from a cliff season, what is it here that we're ready to have a new beginning on? In that house where this new moon is sitting with Scorpio in it, uh, what are we ready? To, again, is there something else we need to let go of? 
because that's what Scorpio talks about. We got to let something go. They rule not only the sexual organs, but the elimination organs too. Okay. So that's why I say to you guys during Scorpio season, fart it out, toot it out, poop it out. Do what the fuck you got to do, babe. Process it and let it the fuck go. <laughs> All right. What the fuck did we get from this? What information or what things have I learned that I can keep with me, but like let the person or let the extra baggage in the BS go so that we can have a new beginning here where I can have finally give myself. This feels like a rebirth new moon. So what are we ready did you actually let something go? Was there a death? Did you face it? Did you grieve it, babe? Because this is the fucking week, okay? We've been talking about it for the last two months. This is the fucking week. So maybe no more procrastinations. Maybe no more saying I'll do it next week. Maybe making yourself a priority might, for a lot of us, actually be like a new beginning here for us. And especially around that, those themes of rebirth, rejuvenation, um, just know here too, and especially with Saturn in the mix, like we might even be looking at like a long-term goal. We might even not know how feasible it is. But again, with Saturn here, it just reminds it, reminds us, take it day by day. This is about building a solid foundation and continually just keep checking in with yourself. Or if you're doing this with another person, check in with yourself and the other person, right? So I think with this new moon and what, and what it's asking us this week, again, in Scorpio is... Did we really let something go? Did we actually make room? Because a new beginning's trying to be here, or a refresher, okay? Um, we're planting something important. And it being in a water sign, maybe with a lot of tears, okay? But again, this element of grief coming in, uh, crying something, we're letting, letting it go, um, eliminating it from our system. Maybe not only from our physical environment, but our physical body too, and so do we need cut cords of attachment? Do we need like a lymphatic drain? Do we need a colonoscopy? <laughs> the fuck do we need here? So that we can maybe again, just assist ourselves in letting something go and giving ourselves the room to stretch. Guys, can I just remind us all too around grief that like our grief never really fully goes away. We start to learn and I think grow and we grow bigger around it. We become a bigger vessel in order to hold this. Okay, so a lot of times the grief is asking us to grow in some kind of way. And maybe with this new moon, it's saying, what direction would you like to go in? P.S. May it be fucking magical. Okay. May it be intense. It's probably gonna be intense, especially with Scorpio in the mix. It's probably gonna be intense. It's probably gonna be deep. There might be themes of other lifetimes or previous lifetimes, even if it's the same lifetime here, but like younger version of you. Okay. So some things from the past. Also to remember Scorpio rules secrets. So probably there might be some secret bullshit coming out or secrets coming to the forefront. Or for some of you guys, you might be taking a secret to the goddamn grave. <laughs> okay. Whatever we're doing here around secrets, uh, just know whatever the fuck pops up this week. Again, this gives us a new beginning. Maybe it finally gives us an answer and a better structure in order to build a dream or a goal. Or again, wherever the fuck Scorpio is sitting in your chart, whatever house that rules. So get to know that space. Get to understand that house because you're getting... A new fresh beginning there. Say yes. You deserve it. Okay. So again, long story short, what the fuck have we learned? <laughs> what is Scorpio season asking us to now grieve and let go so that we can make room for this new beginning that's showing up with this new moon? And at this new moon, are we ready to start fresh? Are we ready to let go? Are we still holding on white knuckling something? So sit down, face yourselves. Don't be afraid of the grief. Don't be afraid of the loss. And a gentle reminder again, kind of like I said with the death card last week, remember that death is just a transition, my loves, for real, for fucking real. It is just a transition. It doesn't take the whole of us. It can't. It just takes the physical form. It leaves behind the spiritual, the essence of us. And that doesn't change. It just moves into something else. So whether you believe our, our physical turns into trees and the air and the land, which it fucking does. Okay. Or maybe you have a more spiritual bent to it where our just, the form we take next will just be different and won't be physical or be spiritual. And so again, what transformations, what transitions, are we ready, re, are we ready, <laughs> are we ready to remember that death is not the end? Okay. So I love you. Gentle reminder that you motherfucking got this. It's a new moon, new beginnings, babe. 
make sure that your self-care game is on fucking point this week. And don't be surprised if we're looking at uh, maybe some of us are going to the doctor around those areas that I talked about too, like the sexual organs, the elimination organs, the parts of our body that do that stuff. Um, so don't be shocked this week if we've got some health stuff centering around those things. we got to deal with those themes. All right. I see you guys. I believe in you guys. And I'm so fucking proud of you. Keep fucking going. Okay. All right. Follow me to the next screen. Remember, I was pulling one card this week. Got a sick kid strep for the fourth time. I want to fight anything in the street. <laughs> oh, send help Jesus. Um, we'll just do the best we can. Okay. So hopefully your card makes sense. Middle fingers for no. Could call for yes. See you guys in a sec. Card pile number one. Hold on to your tutor and cooter, babe. <laughs> Listen, y'all got a major arcana card. Talk about major change, major evolution, major moving forward. Don't shoot the messenger. Y'all got the tower. <laughs> if you haven't already turned off the channel, <laughs> if you haven't already stopped, full stopped, hear me out, okay? Babe. Whenever a major card, major arcana card comes up, this is a major pivot point in our life. We're, we're coming to a serious crossroads and we got to make a fucking decision. And whenever the tower comes up, this is a decision that came the fuck out of the blue. This absolutely blew something the fuck up that we thought or felt was solid, whether that be a person, place, or thing, okay? Um, and this just throws us for a fucking loop. But here's the jammy jam <laughs> that a lot of people forget with this card. It's not just about the chaos and the bullshit and fuckery. There was some kind of wish in our heart. Maybe we literally asked at some point. Um, or maybe the universe or our spirit team or whatever the fuck force is at work right now is feeling like, baby, this ain't it. <laughs> okay. So listen, whenever the tower comes along, we, we got to be able to be as flexible as humanly possible um know where our emotional center is so that we don't get caught up in the fear or the worry or the fucking freak out uh, i'm not gonna lie to you though i'm not running for jesus <laughs> so whatever the tower kind of shit happens yeah dude i kind of lose my shit for a second but then there's always a reminder here that like either maybe i prayed for liberation maybe i asked for liberation the point is liberation liberation you get the fuck out of a situation a place a partnership that wasn't actually working that maybe we couldn't didn't know how or were unable to face that maybe we weren't happy or this wasn't fucking working okay maybe sometimes too we don't even in the moment we're like oh my god this was my whole life you know i didn't want this i never asked for that but then later on we're like oh fuck because maybe something even more beautiful and better came along for you where it felt like this closed door was the end of the world where it's like no babe you're actually being protected okay <laughs> Is what I want to say for some of you guys with this card this week too. So if some of you guys are getting closed doors and it feels like the whole world has ended, I need you to take a deep fucking breath all the way down to your taint, baby. Because when I tell you that the universe, your loved ones in spirit, uh, maybe even your own fucking soul is trying to protect you from something, you need to motherfucking trust it. And or these themes of liberation, we're finally getting out of maybe a really shitty, bad situation. Okay. Also, too, the tower stands for the number 16. So look for these themes to come up around the 16th of a month. Maybe I want to reference back to maybe October 16th, okay? Or maybe looking again uh, here maybe to November 16th. Uh, the tower also breaks down one plus six equals seven. There might be a callback to the month of July because I traditionally read these like the months, okay? So we've got July and then we've got the 16th of a month on blast here, okay? So essentially the tower, huge life thing that's coming along. We really or rarely ever see this thing fucking coming. It comes and it takes a lot of things with it. Maybe things we always thought would stay. Maybe we saw a future with it, but the universe has decided fucking different. Okay. Or whatever the situation calls for. And so again, when this card shows up, gentle reminder, no need to panic. No need to freak out. For most of you guys, if you're getting this card, you already know what the situation is. I got a weird feeling, okay? And even though I just said it comes the fuck out of the blue, I just feel like for a lot of you guys, it's already happened or it's already occurring, okay? For some of you, you're like, but Sarah, nothing's happened yet. Well, then again, hold on to your tutor and cooter, babe, because something's going to be coming out of left field. This might be something, um, and we'll, we'll get into it. We'll get into it, okay? But essentially, overall, the tower here, it's big chaos. This is big change. This is what the fuck, okay? We're getting kicked out of the fucking house, 
We're getting kicked out of the land. We're getting kicked out of our comfy spot. But to be honest with you, it was already on fire. And this is not fine. <laughs> hey, we do not accept this. This is not fucking fine. Um, traditionally too, I just want to say symbolically on here, there might be a fall from grace for somebody that was maybe up on a pedestal or people saw them a certain way. Again, sometimes this can just talk about absolute fucking chaos. Sometimes too, Uranus is in the mix. Okay. With this lightning bolt here. Um, and so again, just representing like coming the fuck out of the blue. This could even be an aha moment because of a difficulty. So hold on tight. It doesn't have to be all doom and gloom. Or again, there's a gentle understanding when this card shows up, the beginning of it's going to be fucking chaos. But at, towards the end of this or as it's wrapping up, we get the lesson we understand and we're able to rebuild here in a better way now. Okay. All right. So if you're looking for a yes or no this week, to me, this would be a no. <laughs> Sit on your booty cheeks, babe. Um, I think this one is more about just like noticing the energy that's coming in and making sense of it because emotionally speaking, we're not doing great. There's a lot going on. The structure is getting struck and blowing the fuck up. Okay. Like there's things here that are just kind of, it's almost like we got to kind of sit and wait for a second till the chaos is over. Things have settled. And then we have a better understanding or idea of where the fuck we got to go, what the fuck we got to do. And listen, sometimes, can I say this too? Um, with this chaos and this change, this can also be brought on because we refuse to fucking take action. Not making a choice is still making a choice. And the universe is like, we won't have that, babe. <laughs> I said booty scoot. Okay. <laughs> then they drop kick your ass out of the fucking tree. Rude. <laughs> All right. If we're looking around love and relationships, ow. Whew. For some of you guys, this is, this could be a divorce. This could be like some kind of information coming in that changes everything about the dynamic of the relationships. Um, this could be some difficult information that really just rocks everything down to the core um, in any type of those relationships, okay? Um, if this is more friendship-based, uh, something here has not been good for a while, to be honest with you. And I get the same feeling around family. Like, this isn't anything new. I, I would actually say for love relationships as well, nothing is necessarily new here, okay? And so, again, at the end of it, we're able to look back and be like, oh, I can kind of see that it was coming <laughs> at that point. You know what I'm saying? But maybe in the moment, we were blinded and we didn't see. So... Um, I just feel like around relationships, like we're not looking at something clearly. So if it does come the fuck out of left field, it's kind of like, weren't you paying attention? Or maybe too also that like this thing happening here, it's begging us to take and spend more attention on our, be present. Okay. <laughs> uh, with the tower here too, I, I just think that, um, I don't know, y'all. This just feels like maybe for a lot of us this week, we might be hearing some difficult things around our partnerships, some ugly secrets, some ugly shit coming up. I got three stars in the background here, which reminds me kind of like the three of pentacles, okay? Um, or the three of swords or the any of the threes. All right. Um, and a, a lot of times the threes can talk about, you know, an extra situation um, and a third party situation or another person involved here. So I don't feel like it's just two people. I feel like there's multiple people involved here or there could be up to three people. I would say probably no less than that. Now, it's going to affect more people, too, with the tower here. So we also need to consider others and uh, maybe... Maybe for some of you guys, it feels like this week we might be putting people in the right categories in the right places now, now that some information has come clear and we're able to kind of better sort people into the categories they got to go into, okay? Um, mm -mm -mm. Um, what else around love and relationships? If there's to be a positive on this, maybe here an untenable or a terrible situation is finally coming to an end where we feel like we didn't have any power in it, okay? And so maybe something comes to the forefront or some kind of information comes forward or somebody fucks up or does something stupid. Do you know what I mean? And it just blows the whole thing, the fucking top off. And so we finally get this liberation. We get this freedom out of this. And it just, again, for anybody getting this card this week, remember at the end of this journey is your literal fucking freedom. So really sit and look at the situation. And especially if you're coming from the space of, I thought we were going to be best friends forever. We were going to be family forever. We, this was my fucking soulmate. Can you stop for a second and look at this clearly, please? Stop for a second and ask yourself honestly. I know a part of you be believed that, honestly. But there was some shit going on that you were not okay with. And this didn't feel good to you. And for some of you guys, you didn't know how to get out of it. Okay? So also, too, for some of you guys this week, you might be doing the tower moment. 
<laughs> you might be going in there and be like, fuck you, dude, or fuck you, babe. Like, shit's over. We're done, son. <laughs> okay? And I'm not laughing because I think it's funny. It's just like, we are at the end of our rope. This is the end of the fucking jam. Like, maybe somebody here does something fucking stupid, and that's it. That's enough. And the top blows off, and, and just the mask comes off, the top blows off. Like, we're fucking laying things out, all right? So, just for some of you guys this week, um, hmm, especially <laughs> if this is with somebody that we hope to have a future with, or we're trying to reconcile something here, either maybe wait until another week to have an important conversation or if you feel like it's time and you're ready you, you're saying like if you knock I buck then baby fucking tits out <laughs> again none of us are running for Jesus I'm not telling to tell you to do the same either all right so do what the fuck you feel is best for you this week just remember that you and this other person are not the only one involved is what it feels like to me so consider all of our actions before we go and do the thing but at the end of it do what the fuck is best for you okay this would also like Sarah should I burn bridges like baby if you got to if you fucking got to, you need to know your personal stitch. But I'll tell you what about the fucking tower. We can't reuse the same bricks. We can't reuse the same land. We can't reuse the same nothing. Because this thing took it all the way down. And so all we can take from this is the lessons. We got to rebuild with brand new people doing brand new things. The how shebang. Okay? Okay. Mm. So, I mean, should you burn bridges? I'm not against it. <laughs> again know what the fuck your situation is and just make sure that like our choices here are going to affect others what kind of outcome do we want to have okay okay um if we we're looking around work and career y'all i just feel like for some of you guys your place is oh this is fucking terrible i'm wondering if like a boss or some higher ups or some shit's about to come out maybe someone's having an affair maybe somebody some shit went down maybe they stole money maybe they sold the business out from every from underneath everybody there is some fucking tower moment coming with work right now and so whether that's just like i've had enough and this person will let me be and i just let my mouth pop off or like literally this place is getting bought out and I didn't see it even though we kind of felt the grumblings of something happening I didn't see it coming and so now I got to scramble to kind of figure this the fuck out um the tower in terms of career and work it's difficult especially if you're working on like a private project or a creative project this could just feel like we scrap it we fucking scrap it or this thing is just not working out or it just did not we got to scrap it. <laughs> okay. It's what it feels like to me. And we got to rework with something brand new here. Um, anything else for work and career? I know that there was a call back and I think this is for any category too. I said to the month of July, but also with the three there, I, I want to say that there might be a call back to the month of March around the third of a month too. Okay. So pay attention to the number three, the number seven, the number 16. Okay. I think it's, listen, long story short, for work and career, get your fucking resume out there or don't be afraid to start over again. Start over from scratch. Something here is not working and it either keeps blowing up or maybe we're ready to be free of this thing, <laughs> okay? Maybe in the positive sense here too. A lot of you guys, if you're hoping to be free from some terrible work obligation or people obligation, it's fucking coming, okay? The fucking thing is coming. So just get ready for that. Get ready for that shit. Be prepared. Make sure you have your resume ready and that you're taking good care of you. Be present in this moment. Be flexible and make sure that we're looking for people, maybe around our work here. We're working with new people, places, and spaces. Stop going back to the same old. We're doing the same old thing. We need something different. Okay. Um, and then finally, let's look at health and healing. Um, shit's blowing up, babe. It's untenable. Again, I know I keep saying that. Something here is like we can't keep going the same route. Um, for some of you guys, you might be having horrific heartburn. Horrific heartburn. Some of you guys might be having migraines. Mm. Some of y'all are just having some serious physical shit going on that is not good. And on top of that, we got emotional stuff happening. Like, y'all, this is the literal perfect storm. <laughs> hey. What, what hurricane can we call this? Hurricane fuckery and chaos. <laughs> All right. Now of, of sneezing and farting at the same time. Mm -mm. All right. That's disaster. <laughs> Especially if you're a mom, just saying you give them birth. Uh, the tower here, just in terms of our health is, is just saying that something's got to change. 
the way that we've been doing it, or maybe even looking back into the past around like the way the family has done it, something's been passed down here and it's not working. It's not working. Especially if this is a mental health issue. Like y'all, for some of you guys, your brain, your brain is on fire and electrified. Like it's just too fucking much right now. Some of you guys might be dealing also too. Some of you guys might get a diagnosis or might be facing bipolar disorder, borderline personality disorder. Um, Some of you guys might be noticing, like maybe from our childhood here, that we were, man, this fucks me up. For some of you guys here, you were literally kept away from the world. Like, I don't know how else to put that with the tower here. You were kept away from the world. Um, and maybe you continued that type of behavior with yourself. And we realize no longer, like, I'm supposed to be seen and heard in some kind of way. Okay? Or this is my time to break free here and maybe talk about something horrific that went down when I was a kid or around the family and home situation. And it's affecting my physical health now. Do you understand me? If you don't understand the link between what happened in your childhood and your physical health now, it's time to start asking questions, looking into it, talking to your doctor, and especially a really good therapist or psychologist. It's guys, it's wild the way that our body will remember, even if we fucking don't. So take good care of your help. And especially if we have trauma in the past, go and get it taken care of. I think on a positive end for some of you guys this week, having your feet in the fire literally brings an important revelation. So around our health, make sure that we're paying attention to our mental space this week. And whatever the fuck has got us in this fire dealing with shit, sit down and fucking face it and see how it didn't start here. There's a bigger root. There's a deeper root, babe. Go to that root because that's going to help you heal from the root, the taint on up. Okay? Okay. Anything else around health and healing this week? I just, it's time. <laughs> okay. So either the way that we've been handling our health is not working and we're probably having serious health issues. There might be a callback to our childhood, some trauma, some fucked up shit that went down that we need to fucking speak on. But maybe we're afraid because it's going to take somebody in a position of power and make people see them for who the fuck they are. And that doesn't feel good to me ever. That feeling that I'm pulling through. Okay. But when I tell you, you have to do the fucking thing. You need to motherfucking trust yourself. Because again, remember what I was saying earlier? It's not just about you. We might also be protecting others, especially if there was some kind of essay or some really heinous shit that went on in the background. Okay. Protect the fucking babies. Do you fucking hear me? Okay. Okay. Protect others the way that you were not fucking protected, babe. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Also, too, I just health and healing this week. I just, there's something very interesting to me. I keep seeing this crown reference, all right? So I do feel like somebody here might be decrowned, dethroned, a matriarch or patriarch, somebody here, or an important person within the family might be dethroned this week. And so, oh, man, just gentle reminder of whatever the fuck is going on here, that even if somebody is not in charge, the shifting of the guard will make sense when everything settles down. In the meantime, how do we take care of each other, love on each other, and maybe really listen to what the fuck somebody's trying to say here? This is important. Okay. Guys, for anything else here with the tower, just fucking strap in, babe. <laughs> Chaos is coming and it's fucking shit up and it's up to you to be light on your feet and ready to fucking go. The more you know about yourself and what the fuck you want, the better that this is going to go. And if you're in turmoil or things are difficult or you're ready to be liberated from something, baby doll, it's fucking coming. Hold on. For a lot of you guys, we're already going through it. So I'm begging you, um, do what the fuck you got to do here, but make sure that we're thinking fully through our actions before we take them because it's not just ourselves that are being affected. Other people will and are being affected by this too. Okay. I'm not telling you not to do the thing. Okay. Especially if this is dethroning someone. I think that this is important. Say what you got to say. Talk about what the fuck you got to talk about. Uh, specifically within the family. That just feels very family oriented to me. Um, okay. Okay. I just love you guys. And, and even though the tower comes up, sit down and face it. You got this. You're not alone and you're going to be liberated. How can we rebuild? How can we be prepped for the rebuild? Okay. You got this. Hi, my loves. Hi, card pile number two. You guys got an interesting card this week. You guys got a court card. This is pretty gorgeous. Um, you guys got the king of cups. Let's fucking talk about it. Listen, this week's going to be people-y, so just know that, okay? I know. Boo hiss. <laughs> All right? So just know here with the king of cups, whenever cups show up, they're going to talk about our emotions. And so, like, how are we feeling here? And it's asking us to be present with it so that we can make the best choices around the way that we're feeling and let that guide us instead of our fears and worries. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, also, too, whenever water comes, it's going to talk about our intuition. 
Are we actually listening to it? Because it's trying to guide us here. Hello. Uh, we got to listen to it, especially if the situation is very foggy. It's hard to see forward. Maybe we don't have clarity in some kind of way. This situation or whenever this card comes up, it's just saying, let your intuition guide you here. Okay. So if there's a message here, we got to take on. But traditionally, this talks about a male, our age or older, showing up. Uh, now, with the king here, it doesn't have to be a dude, but traditionally with kings, it's a dude. All right. So however this energy applies, please take it that way. Just know for the most part, these are fucking genderless. But traditionally speaking, okay, this is how they're viewed. Now, with the King of Cups here, um, if this is about uh, possibly a dude on the scene. Um, he's going to be a water sign or have important water placements. So I'm looking at Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? He might have that in his top three placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, Innermost Planets, Mercury, Mars, Venus. Maybe very heavy water placements here. Pay attention. Now, the King of Cups, I say overall, he's probably one of my more favorite kings. He's he's sensitive. He's good. This is a guy that is old enough or he's been working on this long enough that his head and his heart are working here together, which I dig. His cup is open. There's no top on it. So he's just very like open about his feelings. He's not trying to play games or like emotionally manipulate people. He's actually, able, again, he's done some kind of work here. He's lived some kind of life where he's been able to face himself and understand that love isn't games and bullshit. It's being honest and open. And communicating clearly around what the fuck we feel. That's everything. That's huge growth. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I want to say here too, the King of Cups, mama is the most important for better or for worse. For better or for worse. If you think you're number one in this man's life, I'm so sorry to tell you, honey. You are not. <laughs> it's going to be his mama in some way, shape, or form. I swear to God. She's, she's leading the charge here for positive or negative. All right. All right. Just heads up. Um, also to the King of Cups. This just always makes me feel... I love this card. So the message here maybe with this again is like either we're taking on this energy this week um, and we're trying to see something with our head and our heart, letting our intuition guide us through and being open, like speaking openly, like communicating on what the fuck we feel. Not no games, no bullshit. There's also like, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like a little ship in the background. There's on water. So there's a kind of a feeling here too. And he's kind of technically looking towards it, even though he's looking towards the past. So maybe we've been waiting for a ship to come in if you fucking will. And we've been waiting a fucking minute so listen with cops here we have second to slowest all right and since i don't really have a time frame per se with this um I, let's just say it would be like months to years okay energy wise that we've been waiting on something for a ship to come in because guess what baby it's coming the fucking it's coming in okay so an extra message there that our ship is coming in on something really important and an important mail or somebody here with important uh water uh signature uh might be bringing this in Interesting. Um, now, if we were looking for a yes or no this week, hold on one second. I would say that maybe the more negative side effects of the King of Cups, if we're looking for, or maybe there's more negative stuff coming up with this guy. Um, he can be sometimes overly emotional or only let his emotions guide him. Again, difficulty with mama. There's really bad trauma here. He's going to make you pay for what the fuck his mama did. No, thanks. Okay. Okay. Mm. Um, if you want your mama, go back to her. <laughs> okay. She'll clean the skid marks out of your undies. I fucking won't. <laughs> All right. All right. Worst kid. I hate it when they turn to a skid mark. <laughs> hey, so if this is skid mark king of cups, um, <clears throat> uh, there's that. But also too, there might be some mental health here issues that we're not dealing with emotional health issues that we're not fucking dealing with. And I'm t when I tell you the core is mama, I swear to fucking God and or his family and home. Okay. Um, he might be emotionally manipulative. He might be too sentimental and stuck in the past and unable to be here in the present moment. Okay. So just heads up with that. Now, again, if we were looking for a yes or no this week, to me, this feels very positive. So to me, this is a yes. So if we're allowing our intuition to guide us. And if we are taking a trip back to the past, we're thinking about something from the past. We're finally ready to and able to like let this thing go to be in the present moment. Okay, okay. Extra points if you're dealing with mama and mama themes and issues. You're going to the past, healing that shit, letting it the fuck go in whatever way suits you, babe. Okay? Remember, forgiveness is for you. It doesn't let that person off the hook. It doesn't excuse their fucking behavior. But it stops the lava from eating you from the inside out. Okay? Okay. Look, Scorpios. Water. I said lava. <laughs> hey, there's that. All right. If we were looking around love and relationships, I think on the positive end here, 
there's there's a blast from the past coming back around baby doll um somebody here has grown uh especially emotionally there's something here that they they went to the past around and they were looking at maybe maybe something having to do with that ship coming in or maybe um also too with like ships coming in think about like getting the resources we need in order for a ship to take off right so maybe got stuck in that or like the relationship couldn't move past a certain like, it could never leave port Okay, I'm sorry for all these fucking metaphors, <laughs> but it makes sense when these cards are coming up. Bear with me. <laughs> so it could never really leave port. This thing never got off the ground is essentially what it's saying. And that there's some kind of ship coming in now. And so maybe somebody's here here has had an emotional realization and is ready to talk about this thing. Okay, so this is more on like the love relationship end. This might be a blast from the past. Who's done some type of healing. We're older now. I've learned something. Whatever is coming through here is like the ship is finally fucking coming in. I think the real question is for some of you guys, do you still want this person? I, oh, I mean, for real though, <laughs> I think for some of us, we need to look at this and be like, mm, it's welcoming this person back in a safe or a good thing to do. What happened the last time? Okay. And so if we've got some question marks and it's a little scary here, uh, just make sure that this person's walking their walk and talking their talk and you're going to need time to see that. So don't just jump in. Don't let somebody come in, love bomb you and then be like, baby, we're twin flames when we haven't talked for 15 years. And the last time I talked to you, you fucking cheated on me with, you know, the, the other girl in class. The fuck? Do you know what I'm saying? Think about it before we say yes or we welcome someone back in. Make sure that their words and actions are aligning. If they're not, hit the road, Jack. <laughs> and don't you come back no more. <laughs> I meant that with my whole fucking chest. So pay attention to this person, especially if it's for you guys. Somebody's coming back around here. Now, for some of you guys, especially if this is around family, there might be an important father figure or an important male here that's looking at the past and being like, oh, shit. Maybe they fucked up somehow. They can see how they were maybe emotionally unavailable if this is a father figure. Maybe they can see how they weren't sitting in their power. Maybe for some of them, we might be dealing with an important male here or father figure that might be going over his own mother issues, mother themes, his own childhood. And maybe for him, something is coming in here beautifully. Maybe a fool come around around something, maybe around his childhood again. That might be interesting for some of you guys. Might be helping father to deal with emotionally something from the past. Um, or again, this might be an important father figure, a male within the family that's looking back at the past and being like, I need to tell you, I'm sorry. I fucked the fuck up. This is gorgeous in that sense. You hear me? Okay. This is very heart centered. And I do feel like we've had some kind of growth here. Maybe they weren't on your side to begin with, or maybe again, some kind of information, something came in here when they were like, Oh, oh, oh fuck. That's okay. I was fucking wrong. That's huge. That's fucking huge. And congratulations to you guys. If you are getting that come around an apology and I'm sorry, I should have supported you or I understand something more now or I understand what you were trying to say, whatever the fuck this thing is. Okay. This is more around our friendships. I kind of feel like for some of you guys this week, it's just asking you to navigate some relationships here. Uh, for some of you guys, I don't know why I'm picking this up. For some of you guys, uh, your part, this is a part of your like married friends groups. There might be a, a dad in the group or a dude in the group. This might be uncomfortable for some of you guys this week because there might be some feelings coming from somebody else's partner or from, and this has been going on for a hot minute. Okay. Um, I, that's up to you guys, how the fuck you handle that, what the fuck you want to do with this. I want to say for the most part, again, this King of Cups is a positive card, but the way he's looking towards the past, something here has been going on for a hot minute. Okay. Um, and somebody wants to make their feelings known. So that's up to you how you handle that. I would just say, do what you feel is best for you. Follow your moral compass. You hear me? Okay. How well do you know this person too? And so if they're just coming out of left field, maybe you've known them for five years. Maybe they're just like, you've never actually gotten to know them. And now they're telling you that they're in love with you. Run the other direction. Do you fucking hear me? <laughs> okay. So this is not going to apply for everybody. For some of you guys this week, if there's weirdness, please just... Take your time, chillax with it, either let it fucking roll by, tell that person that's a hell to the na na, or listen to them and hear what the fuck they have to say then, okay, if something else is going on. I'm not here to judge you, I'm here to guide you around what you find morally correct or not correct, okay? It is still your choice. So whatever choice you make here, gentle reminder, this is the card of cups and emotion. This is very fucking emotional and this needs to be handled with 
soft kitty gloves. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Um, for some of you guys this week around love and relationships, again, last thing I want to say around like, again, family just feels like maybe there's an important male figure here that either somebody here might be getting the new patriarch, new patriarch, the new patriarchal role within the family. Okay. Again, possibly here, one of those water signs have those important placements. Maybe also too, they knew they were since they were a kid, they knew they were going to be the next patriarch. So just saying here, there, there's an important figure, either somebody stepping down, somebody stepping up and forward could be both at the same time. Um, just pay attention to the themes going on this week and whatever the fuck we do around love and relationships, communicate openly and don't be afraid to talk about the past to find some fucking clarity. But I think for the most part this week, this is a ship coming in that's beautiful and something has been sailing for a minute. <laughs> okay. Now, if we're looking around work and career, woo, some of you guys might get a call from an old boss for real. Okay. Uh, maybe some of you guys are like literally working in shipping or you guys are working in logistics. Maybe, uh, maybe you guys are working at a port or on the water. All right. Um, here with work though, I do say like, if this is about an important male at work, or maybe you're dealing with an important male this week, I would really fucking ask him to go back to the past, ask him what the fuck he wanted to do since he was a kid. So we can best support this dude because somebody, he might be struggling. He might even be stuck in the past, didn't get something, help him, help him with his vision, open it up if he's willing and open to listen to you. Okay. But I do think love will get through to him or say this in a loving way will help guide him so that he can really truly sit in his power. This is important for some of the males within, for some of you guys, or if you're a dude listening and that resonates, babe, what the fuck did you want to do? And are you doing that thing? No booty scoot towards it. What do you No more procrastination? No more bullshit. No more fuckery. Don't miss this boat again. Something else is coming in. And for you guys, another boat is coming in. Do not miss this because you're thinking about the past, thinking about something else. Okay. Be present in this moment so you can make the best choice for you around the work that you're doing. Also too, for some of you guys, you might be put into a position of power coming up here. Um, this is going to be very interesting. So just make sure that we're staying on our P's and Q's, okay? That we're open and clear and we're open to conversations. Realize too that the work that we might doing might be very emotional. Some of you guys might be going in becoming a psychologist, therapist, support, social worker, support in some way, shape or form. King of Cups loves to fucking support, especially emotionally. So there's something beautiful, even if this is a, your coach, do you know what I'm saying? And you're supporting exercise or mind. It doesn't fucking matter. You're helping people move forward, move through their emotional stuff. This is beautiful. Okay. Maybe also see some of you guys want to, I just the boat in the background. Maybe you guys want to start your own charter service. If you guys are thinking about doing, I don't know, be the next Dan, the Gator man, <laughs> okay. whatever the fuck that guy's name is, um, get out there and do the damn thing. I do feel like water is involved. Um, and our, we, our work might be around water or involve water in some way, shape or form extra points. If you're fucking making a dam, I don't fucking know. <laughs> or part in the sea, babe. <laughs> Maybe we're doing some kind of, oh, okay. Last thing. Maybe some of you guys want to be like a treasure hunter, like diving for treasure or like buried ships or ships under the water. I don't know. Side note. Maybe some of you guys are looking for Atlantis. Let me know when you fuck you find it. I'll titty shake with you there. <laughs> okay. Now, if we were looking around health and healing guys, again, this week, there might be an important male here where we're he has to deal with his feelings. He needs to get to a good therapist. We need to deal with the past. This is really fucking important. Actually, this is key for him to step into his power and to be a fucking man. We, I know I said that a little harshly, but honestly, we need to deal with the past because you are acting like a little fucking boy. You are stuck emotionally at five, 10, 15 years old, even though you might be fucking 80. You're doing everything but therapy. Get, get in there and take care of your fucking self. This is important. You want to be present and actually move forward. You're tired of being stuck. Yeah. Deal with your fucking shit from your childhood. Go. Oh, tired of talking about it. <laughs> For some of you guys feeling that energy. <laughs> okay. Um, I would also say too, around health and healing, we also might be dealing with a male this week, again, around those signs, might also be having mental health issues, emotional issues, um, let's get this person to the doctor make sure that they're doing okay. All right. And again, we might find that there's a reoccurring theme within the family. Maybe somebody keeps passing down like mental health issues, emotional issues. How the fuck do we stop this fucking pattern? Thank you, baby Jesus. Um, 
Some of you guys this week, uh, you're going to be dealing with your heart and heart issues. And I swear to God, if some of you guys don't start taking fish oil, I'm going to come over there and fight you. Look at this. This fish is literally on the heart. How else could I interpret that? For Well, for some of you guys, you might be thinking about what the fuck you guys would. Some of you guys are thinking about converting or becoming like a Christian or something, or maybe just following more of Jesus's things he said to do. Maybe there's an important, I don't know why the fuck this is coming up. Or maybe there's an important element here around that story with the fish and the loaves. Taking nothing and making it into something. I don't know. There's something interesting with that this week. Um, anything else for the King of Cups? Yeah, you guys got to talk about your emotions and remind yourself that you're the one in power now. I really think that's what it comes down to and that we're not beholden to the past anymore. If you think somebody's still in charge, like a parent or something, even though you're in your 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, baby, you're the one in control now. You've got to get control of this and we need to deal with our emotions, okay? Extra points if you guys get a good lymphatic drain or a good kind of massage this week to kind of help release some of the bullshit. Also, baths in any way, shape, or form, are incredibly healing, rejuvenating this week, too. Guys, for anything else this week, motherfucking trust yourself, please. I'm begging you. Hot damn summer in the city. <laughs> Deal with your feelings, face that shit, and don't be afraid to communicate on your feelings here around something important. Now, if we're dealing with a male this week, like, just maybe listen to what he has to say, sit down with him, help guide him, maybe help him remove the fixated vision on the past, so that we can be here in the present moment and can see what he does have. So that we can get some kind of growth here, okay? Whatever the fuck is coming in for you guys, just, just make sure we trust our intuition. We trust our head and our heart. We're letting them work together. And when appropriate, when asked for, we're opening up and we're taught we're being vulnerable about our feelings. Because this is where the fuck our power is, okay? I believe in you guys. Everything's going to be okay. You hear me? This is actually, I think, is going to be a decent week. Let's just sit down and take action where it's needed. Or to sit and pay attention and absorb where is needed. Be flexible here this week. It's going to help you big time. When in doubt, get to the water and cleanse your ass. You fucking got this. <laughs> and finally, card pile number three. Uh, you guys got a pretty decent card. You guys got these six of coins. Let's fucking talk about it. It's beautiful, actually. So you guys here with the six of coins, whenever coins show up, this is going to talk about um, look, what are we manifesting? Well, not really... I think you can say that. I find that more with fire, but like, I think maybe better said with earth element here. What am I building? Hmm. What am I building? Um, because that could be family, career, myself, uh, this cake I'm putting together. <laughs> hey, fucking love earth signs. All right. Cause y'all cook and I like to eat. It's a, it's a positive combo. <laughs> all right. Now with the six of coins here though, and anytime I find that the six has come up, this is about reciprocity. This is a rebalance excuse me, going back on after the fives. Okay. Listen, the fives teach us something important though. They teach us about how we are in relationship with others, but maybe we got to lean on ourselves for a minute. Six is like, Hey, something, and especially the six of coins, something, something's got to be reciprocal here in order for this thing to fucking work. So give and take, not just taken, not just given. Right. And so how do we work, um, with another person here? Now, I love the Six of Coins because it really just, it talks about reciprocity. This talks about going from like pauper to fucking millionaire. Uh, this can even talk about at one point we didn't have something and now we've got an abundance of something. And how do we share this? How do we help others? Especially if we were helped and we were down and we didn't have anything to give back. Do you know what I'm saying? And so this is kind of a, like a way to give back. This is also making so much money that you can be a fucking philanthropist. All right. So this is gorgeous around work, around money. And again, what we're building around our career, but also with relationships too, okay? Um, also too, with the number six, look for these themes to come up around the sixth of a month, six days, six weeks, six years. Uh, coins moves the slowest. So I'm looking at months to years, okay? Um, also too, with the number six, again, around the sixth of a month, I want to go back to the month of June, all right? So there might be some, maybe we did something in June, nothing happened. And maybe this week we're getting the reciprocity or something's coming back full circle. Interesting. Okay. Now, if we were looking for a yes or no this week, I would definitely say that this is a yes. It feels like to me. And again, especially if we have an abundance of something, if we got to make a choice here, that's like fair, balanced, honest, truthful. If you notice, she's holding a scale in the back there and it looks like she does make a choice. She's got two people. She's making a choice and she's weighing that scale here. So it's kind of like who deserves it or maybe who's next or it just maybe it almost reminds me of the Egyptian, 
you know, whenever they die, their heart is weighed against a feather on a scale. Okay. And so it's just kind of like looking at who best deserves this or who's coming in here with a good, clean heart and who isn't. And knowing the discernment between the two is what it feels like to me. Okay. So there's that, especially if there's themes of people coming back around from June. Mm, here we go. <laughs> okay. So yes to that. Um, yes. Also too, if we have extra of something and we can share it with others, whether that be our time, our energy, extra clothing, food, it doesn't fucking matter. We've got an extra of resource. Traditionally it's money. It doesn't have to be. All right. All right. So if we were looking around love and relationships, mm, for some of you guys, we're making a choice this week around who the fuck we want to be with. Maybe for some of you guys, you're choosing between two suitors or two people. Okay. They both look like they're begging. They're both on their knees. I mean, congrats, babe. <laughs> congrats, darling. Male or female. However the fuck you identify. Congrats, baby doll. <laughs> We got, we got people simping at our feet. God bless. <laughs> All right. It's about goddamn time is what I just heard. <laughs> I love that for some of you guys. Fucking right. All right. So you guys deserve to be the one simped upon, not being the fucking simp. God bless. All right. So with the six of coins here, it just kind of feels like maybe some of you guys are making a choice this week and we've waited it out. Okay. Who's actually telling us the truth? Who's shown with their words and their actions? Who has been reciprocal with us? Who has shown up when we have shown up? My goodness. So if this is around choosing a partner this week, I think we actually go down to the nitty gritty. This is around, especially with coins and around relationships, we need safety and security. And so somebody here is like either like actually really fucking trying or maybe they're in a difficult point and we can help them. Or maybe it's, again, somebody's coming back around. We're trying to choose between two people. Go towards the person that's actually reciprocal, that has actually shown up, not just in your head, babe, but actually has in real life. Thank you. No limerence here. Thank you. Look it up. It's real. No limerence. Okay. Who actually has done the fucking thing? Who actually has reciprocated? Who actually has actually shown the fuck up? This isn't just thoughts. It's there's no air. This isn't just like one action they took. This isn't fire. <laughs> this isn't just feelings about it. It's not water. Baby, this is earth. They don't fucking care about any of that shit. Sh show me the money. <laughs> Show me your fucking actions so I can see what the fuck is going on. All right. Also extra points too. if the person or people that you're dealing with this week might have important earth placements. Again, when we're working with earth, we're looking at Virgo Capricorn Taurus. Okay. Maybe that's you, babe. So I just think here around love and relationships this week, it's pretty wild. Something's coming back around. I feel like this in like the family friend sense though, that for some of you guys, somebody here done you dirty, maybe back in June and like, well, now we've got extra of something and we've got options. This person's asking for it, but you know, maybe another friend here was actually there for me. Like give it to the friend that was actually fucking there is what I want to say for some of you guys. Or if there's an extenuating circumstance, something happened back in July and this person's able or June and they're able to like talk to you about it, or the sixth, however the fuck it worked out. Okay. If this person can act maybe six years ago, honestly, with coins, this could be six fucking years ago. Okay. Somebody's coming back around here and it's like, Hey, I could really use your help. It needs to, I think with earth element here, it needs to make sense. It needs to. Okay. So does this make sense for you to give this to this person or have they shown you with their actions that they're just going to take your money and spend it on stupid shit and not take care of their fucking bills? Even though they keep saying they got to take care of this, you know what I'm saying? Or like somebody says, you know, they want to be with you and... Uh, you know, they never fucking show up. They never come through on, you know, the things that you guys plan or you always have to be the one to plan shit. The, the, mm -mm, mm -mm. So again, this week, choose that it needs to make sense. Choose the person that actually has shown you with their actions, that they're safe, that they're responsible. You're looking for your safety and security card pile number three. So look at the actual actions. Okay. For some of you guys. All right. Make sure words and actions align. Um, also, too, around love and relationships. Some of you guys might be calling somebody out this week. Ah. Um, have you ever had to deal with a Taurus that was done with your shit? I hope you photocopied your face somewhere because half of it's going to be gone and you're going to need reconstruction surgery <laughs> to get it back after they chewed it off. <laughs> okay. Wow. So fucking serious. Same could be said for Capricorn too, to be honest. 
Ooh, I mean, Virgo, well, um, Virgo's not so much. Uh, I mean, listen, it depends on the Virgo, I get you. But, like, more tradition, I would say Taurus, Capricorn's going to eat your fucking face. <laughs> Woo! Um, I would say also to maybe last thing around love and relationships this week, um, whatever we're giving away, just make sure that this is the excess of something, that just because you have it doesn't mean that you give it away. This needs to be extra of something, honey, Okay. So when your cup is overflowing, that's when we give the extra. If your cup is just full or like you're feeling you have just what you need, no, no. This is the extra of something. Do you hear me? Okay. Do you even know what a full cup is? You probably don't. Okay. Because you just keep giving away the moment it even comes anywhere near the top. Right. So again, uh, -uh this is when we have extra. Please pay attention to your energy this week. For a lot of you guys. Hi, okay. Last, last thing I want to say around love and relationships is somebody might want to try to come and talk, but they need to come healed and or healing. I mean, somebody needs to come right, okay? Because you've been doing the work and maybe now you understand what you need. And especially with these scales showing up, what is the, what is the truth? What is the honest realness? Is it fair? Is it balanced? Is it true? Are we telling the fucking truth? And so there's a scale, there's a weighing happening here. Okay. So weigh out whether or not this person is even worthy to fucking be at your feet to begin with, babe. <laughs> there's that. Um, also too, I, I would be remiss. Can you guys see the butterfly wings on her? So again, there's been some kind of change. You've done the work. This person needs to come healed and or healing. Mm. All right. If we're looking around work and career. Ooh, some of you guys might be offering a job to somebody that really fucking needs it. You, got, Especially if you own your own business with this this week, okay? So thank you for doing that for some of you guys. I just think this is really sweet. I just feel like some of you guys might be taking a real chance on somebody. Maybe that literally just got out of jail. Look, he's wearing orange. <laughs> I can't make this shit up. All right. Maybe at one point you did a little jail yourself. All right. It's more red now. Okay. The orange is fading out. <laughs> I'm just saying I'm and not judging. <laughs> maybe somebody will literally get the fuck out of jail. All right. And they really fucking need this. And maybe you were in a position once where you had to do the same type of thing. And now you're able to give somebody a job. Way to go, babe. This is gorgeous. Okay. Um, so interesting. Um, also too, I think around work and career, you guys might have, maybe they're trying to choose between you and another person. Interesting. Maybe also too, you might be a fire sign with that orange and red there. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're choosing between you and a water sign or fire sign and a water sign this week. They're going to go with the fire sign. Does that make sense? Okay. And, or if you're making that choice this week, I wouldn't normally say, Hey, choose somebody based on their Zodiac sign. I wouldn't do that. Okay. I just think that's not good practice in a business. <laughs> okay. Look at their astro chart and see how you can work with them. Fuck yes. Does the person actually do the job? Okay. We need to be grounded. We need to, please let's be grounded. Okay. We can't do Zodiac stuff for everything. And I feel like a couple of you are like, yes, we can Sarah watch us. All right. Fair enough. I'm just saying to you. Maybe this is not a good way to run a business, but just side note this week, I feel like they go with the fire sign instead of the water sign. Okay. Whew. Um, maybe even too, they might go with the younger person instead of the seasoned worker. Interesting. Mm. Side note. All right. Um, also too, if you guys were looking to get a job this week or waiting for money to come in, this should be fucking coming in for you guys. All right. Make sure, too, that we remember what the fuck we came from here. So if we're able to give back and take care of others, remember, there was a period here when we did not have enough. And I think it's just really important to give back in that way. It really fucking is, you know? Um, anything else around work and career? This would be an excellent option if you're thinking to start in your own business. and Maybe you're hiring your friends and your family. Again, I feel like you're going to be the one in control so we know where the fuck to take this. With the butterfly and the butterfly theme on this chick, again, this might be something huge around transformation, um, maybe here we've just transformed our world. Maybe we took the little that we had and we're real magic and we made it into something way fucking more. Congratulations. Do you not see how incredible you are? Okay. Well done. I just feel like this is really great this week. If you want to start your own business for real, for real. And again, cause we're finally in a place where we can kind of start this, get it rock and rolling and help other people with a leg up. Even if in your career, maybe you're famous, we're well known with all these stars showing up here, even though it's coins. Okay. And so maybe we're passing on the baton 
or we're bringing another person up on stage with us or we're doing something with another person that's not as famous or as well known as us. We're helping them to get ahead. Gorgeous this week. If you have that ability, fucking do it. That's gorgeous. Okay. Anything else around work and career? This just feels reciprocal. It's got to be reciprocal. This workplace needs to recognize your gifts and abilities and pay you accordingly. Period. Whew. All right. If we're looking around health and healing. Mm. Some of you guys are weighing about what you can put your money to. Maybe for some of you guys, we might be dealing with, oh, maybe for some of you guys this week around health and healing, we might be dealing with two children. That's interesting. Maybe we're deciding to help one and not the other yet. Or maybe there's just something going on here where like one of the kids is maybe more sick or more in need. And so we've got to help them first. We've got to weigh who we can help first. For some of you guys around health and healing, we might actually be dealing with a female here that's taking care of her will and last testament and who she's giving stuff out to with the scales there. Okay. So this is like legally binding is what it feels like here. Uh, she might be choosing somebody as her successor. She might be choosing somebody here to be the executive of her will, or she just might be choosing who gets what. Okay. And she's basing it upon, I mean, being fair, balanced, just, I mean, justice is coming up with this. Okay. So there's some kind of justice being done here around those themes. I find very interesting. Um, I think also too for health and healing, I think it's time to, I think some of you guys got to get your heart checked. I think some of you guys got to get your lungs checked. Some of you guys need to get your breasts checked. Something interesting going on here. Also with the coins and the stars, make sure your moles, your skin, make sure that's okay. Especially if, if somebody in our family has a lot of skin health issues, something may have been passed down. Uh, or the health issues I talked about may have been passed down to somebody here. So make sure we're getting into the doctor and taking care of it. Okay. Mm. Anything else for health and healing? You know, that other person might not be a water sign. That might be an air sign. Cause I'm looking at that scale now. It might be a Libra. Okay. Or maybe the person doling out stuff might be a Libra, have important Libra placements. Pay attention to some of that this week. I do want to say around health and healing, though, there's something here that's going to be transformed with those butterfly wings. And so maybe knowing where to place our energy, what to put it into, how to take better take care of ourselves, and what are we building around our body and our health physically, okay? Maybe bodybuilding, strength training, taking care of a physical form. This is really fucking important, okay? Maybe last thing I want to say is that some of you guys with the scales there, maybe some of you guys need to speak on something. Some kind of justice needs to be spoken on here. And then we're finally able to get some health and healing. Okay. Guys, for anything else this week, reciprocity is the name of the game. If, it can, if we don't have give and take, it ain't for us. It's got to make sense, darling. Safety and security is at risk here. So make sure that whoever we're giving stuff to or we're lending or we're taking care of, Watching out for blessing, covering, however the fuck you want to say it. Uh, make sure that this makes sense, okay? And that we're not enabling somebody to continue to be a turd, okay? Maybe we're helping somebody to get ahead that this is a real chance for them. And again, if we got to choose between two people this week, go with the one that is responsible, that makes more sense, okay? Make sure that we're being as, when we're being judgmental about this, be as clear and as truthful, as focused as you can, okay? Leave the limiting bullshit to the side. Who cares about anybody's feelings here with coins? Uh, let's get into the what the fuck happened, what's right and what's wrong. Okay? Okay. I just think this week this is beautiful with that weird callback either to the month of June, six years ago, the number six somehow. Okay? Pay attention. I love you guys. You fucking got this this week. Okay? Either that or you got multiple people coming at you being like, baby, you're it. Be like, fucking right I am. <laughs> okay? Make your choice from there. Let them come to you. Thank you. Guys, you know where the fuck to find me. If you guys need anything, I love you guys. Send healing vibes. Thank you. All right. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll see you out there. Bye.